if you want to go from this to this just keep on watching whether you're stuck inside the house or going out this quick mohawk style you guys is sure to fix any bad hair day trust me hey guys it's jody and this is my natural hair let me tell y'all it's freshly washed i detangled it but i must have used something that didn't agree with my hair because it's flaking a little bit to say the least you know youtubers we're always trying some new products, but whatever I tried, it didn't work, girl. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do my infamous five minute curly mohawk without leaving any of my hair out. This is kind of an updated version from a few years ago. It's so easy, guys, so let me show you. So you're just gonna put your hair up into a high ponytail, and I'm gonna go through the steps and give you alternatives according to how you like to do your hair. So do you want a low tension, really protective style? All right, bet. Just put your hair in a loose, high bun. You let your edges breathe, girl, and you meet me on later in the video. But if you want a more sculpted look, you guys are gonna love this. On dry hair, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water just to wake our hair up a little bit and use a dense brush. I said dense, not harsh or like rough. I'm gonna use that to gently gather my hair up at the crown. Alright, so now we got a little bun. The next step is for my edge challenge sisters. I am edge challenge. I have been since I was born, okay? My hair is fine and my edges are light in color. So dark edge control is my secret weapon, you guys, to give me the appearance of fuller edges. Now this is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control. This is the black version and it works really, really well for me. I just blend that in softly with my brush. So next, I like to wake my curls up with some gel. Remember that water is already on here and I like to use the Wetline Extreme Gel. It's been getting the job done for me lately and it's not crunchy yet it gives me a strong hold and again, smooth that in on in there. I'm much more conscious about the amount of tension I use these days so a dense brush again but it has to be soft so a lot of hairs on the brush but not hard and along with using water in my hair it helps a lot for preserving the health of my hair while I style it it looks good already but you know I like all the fancy accompaniments with my hair so I'm gonna do my edges and this time with the Baby Tress Edge Brush. And I always say that styling your hair is like art. It's like a painting. And if you know, you know. You do a lot of layering and fine detailing, just like you do with like a painting or a drawing to create this work of art. And when it's all combined with my personal touches, it looks very unique and it's not basic. And I integrate a lot of my personal style into my hair. So then I'm gonna use Edge Booster for my edges with the Baby Tress brush and now this is your time to shine ladies you want to use your personal style all up in doing your hair so whether creating swoops or those little s's that's trendy these days or you just want a perfectly brushed hairline without the baby hairs remember it's just all in the details so if you don't want any baby hairs still you want to make sure it looks the best that it can look so if you want like all of your hairs perfectly combed back just remember you guys it's just all in the details and my hair is one of those things that i use to express myself so that's why i'm passionate about these things so whenever i get the chance i like to put my personal touches so whether it's baby hairs or not So now we just wait for our paint to dry as if we were doing a painting. And of course, I'm just kidding you guys. I just cure my edges and I use these wrap strips to kind of set my ponytail. 
and a satin silk scarf is great as well to dry your hair and voila once I finish my makeup I get dressed you can really see the glamour so once you put it all together you can really come into form and shout out to Jackie Ina because this palette it really blessed this face honey but yeah I love my makeup today oh 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 what's that I call this the mohawk maker and this is one of these pineapple ponytail drawstring puffs it came out some years ago but I do have a video on how to make this style correctly it's like a it's like a variation of a puff but if you want to check it out just go ahead and watch that video but I'm not going to use it the traditional way so when I just place it on my head it does look a little awkward but what we are going to do we are going to make us a mohawk girl and no it did not say mohawk on the package but I am not playing with y'all y'all better do some arts and crafts and be creative with your styles because growing up poor taught me to use a $10 ponytail and create like 10 styles with it so if it's one thing we are on this channel it is resourceful I swear we can make a dollar look like a million bucks so if you haven't already figured it out that's what you are going to learn on this channel and if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button sign up for notifications so right now I'm in the process of using a bunch of bobby pins to pin the curls in place and this is probably the most important step and this is how we create our mohawk so I pull some curls to the back and I decide how I want my hair to fall in my face. So I do the back first and then I do the front and then I kind of shape the rest on the sides and in the front, the top and all of that. And you can have more volume by fluffing the curls out so you can kind of pick them out. You can fluff them with your hands or you can pin some of the curls down for less volume. So if you pat it down, you can get a smaller type of curly mohawk and I know y'all my head is shaped a little funny so I try my best to make this come together for me and my weird head shape so keep that in mind and if you try this style think of how it's gonna bring out your best features the smohawk really brings out those unique features that I used to hate but now I love because it's so unique All right, you guys, I want you to leave a comment below. Type in Mohawk Gang, because I love Mohawks, whether it's with your real hair, a ponytail, synthetic hair, straight, curly, whatever. And this is one of my favorite styles to film for my amazing subscribers, and I want everyone to be beautiful inside and out. So I decided to make this again for you guys. So I wanna know, will you be trying this in the spring and summer once we get out the house? Tell me all about it in the comments below, you guys. And always remember to live your best life. The life you me living now, I cannot give it up. My talk is big enough. Jingle, real talk, most of them fake. That's why me not dealing.